hi again guys welcome back to this week's garden vlog from my little london garden i hope you're enjoying these vlogs so i'm going to show you everything that i've been getting up to in my garden over the past week i'm really enjoying making these vlogs they mean that i can do more at the allotment plot when i'm there and get better content up so if you're enjoying these little garden vlogs that i'm putting up on a friday do leave me a comment below let me know what you're liking about them uh, what you'd like to see more of maybe what you want to see less of as always if you are enjoying my vlogs i would love you to hit the subscribe button below uh, it makes a big difference and i'd be very very grateful and yeah let's get into what i've been up to in the garden this week has now become my daily morning routine. So really early in the morning, it's about 7.30 at the moment, I get up, I come out in my garden, I just water everything. The best time of day to water when you've got a heat wave or it gets very hot in the middle of the day is early in the morning, not late at night. The idea basically is if you water in the morning, before the sun comes up properly and it's still a bit cold, the water will soak into the ground properly and actually feed the roots of the plant, which is what you want, right? If you do it in the middle of the day when the sun's at its hottest, most of the water will be evaporated off of the soil. If you do it at night time, you're kind of setting yourself up for allowing all the slugs and snails in because the temperatures at night tend to drop a little bit and if all the soil's nice and damp and wet, well, that's a slug and snail's absolute dream paradise. Like I said, not an expert, but this is just how I water my garden. Right, school run time. <laughs> Good morning, so it's the next day now and I'm out in the garden doing some gardening jobs today because it's going to be slightly cooler and by slightly cooler I mean like one degrees cooler but we'll take it, we'll take it. I wanted to show you my peonies because it's the first year that they've ever flowered um, and they've done so well. So I've had these, oh hello Bee, I've had these for about two and a half years and they've never done anything. I think I put them in in an autumn time a couple of years ago and this year they've gone crazy but I've just seen in here there's a bee sleeping. I don't know if it's going to focus on him but there he is. He's fast asleep in the middle of the peony. How cute is that? So it seems that my peonies are really good bee hotels and uh, yeah he's having a lovely time in there but I've got three great big peonies. I'm not going to pick them at all. Oh I've got four actually. There's one under there too. I'm not going to pick them because I just love them. So my new border that I planted in last time is doing really well. I'm really, really happy with how it's looking now. I think it's going to spread out a little bit there and look really good. But the colours are just fantastic for the garden. I'm loving it. And I've got my little sunflower in the pot there, which kind of makes this whole area pop a little bit. I love it. Anyway, I'm happy. may not be the most perfect arrangement, but I'm happy with it. I love it. And that's all that matters, isn't it? That you love it. So the only thing I didn't plant last time um, I was in the garden with all that stuff, and this has been in a pot for about two and a half weeks now is my jasmine because I can't decide where to put it it was sort of a bit of an impulse buy here she is she looks stunning she's starting to smell absolutely gorgeous and she needs to go in the ground somewhere but it was an impulse buy and I didn't actually think where I was going to plant it <laughs> obviously it has to climb up something um, and I put these archways in but I put a load of sweet peas around the archways because I wanted something to grow and I didn't think I'd be buying a jasmine you know complete impulse buy I think I'm going to whack it in here so I have some I have some sweet peas going up this archway which are starting to flower but I think I'm going to whack it in here anyway because these will won't last like these are just annuals and this I think is a perennial so this will last year after year so I think it's worth just whacking it in bother the sweet peas too much I can sort of train him to go there and as he grows he can start to wind around the archway which is what I want him to do 
but I think that's good. I think I'm happy with him being there. Right, it's Friday, so the kids want the paddling pool out today. I think the weather's going to change next week and become a little bit more unsettled, so I thought I'd get it out for them today. The reality of life in a garden with kids. <laughs> to really heat up now so I'm gonna go in soon but there's one more job I wanted to do while I was out here and it's this so this is my veg box and it's from zest outdoor living it was really kindly gifted to me by them um, but they is fantastic quality and they are very reasonably priced as well at the moment I've got my parsnips my rainbow chard lettuce carrots and spring onions in here the lettuce for me is not working anymore and I want to get rid of it I know what you might be thinking, no, don't get rid of the whole lettuce, what is she doing? Well, unfortunately, it's gone bitter because I just haven't been able to keep up with picking it. I sewed it all really close together, which means it's gone crazy and it's just taking over the whole veg bed. So I really just want to get rid of it and put something else in its place. So the lettuce is going. Look away now if you don't like seeing plants be ripped out of their home. <laughs> Honestly, it's just not even edible anymore because it's gone so bitter because I've just not been picking it and it needs so much watering because there's so much of it. It just flops over in the daytime and kills all the other plants in here. So it's just, you know, I made a mistake putting it in here. I think lettuce really needs its own pot. To be honest, if you're going to grow it in a pot, I think it needs its own pot. It doesn't like to share. It's not a very sharing plant. Not a team player, lettuce. Oh yeah. No, you are not. Oh, there's a big old snail in there. There's a big old snail. You can bugger off. Bye bye lettuce. So we have quite a lot of new space now. We've got like two rows of stuff that can go in. I'm just going to put some new compost in there. Just to re-nutrient up the soil. <laughs> re-nutrient up the soil. That's a technical term now, guys. Big big load of it just because it's those lettuce have probably sucked all the goodness out of the soil so let's put some new stuff in and then what I've got is calendula seeds so I thought I'd put some calendula in here because I really like these I love using them on salad and there's loads of other like purpose for using these so these are great these are going in um, I think I'll just do one row here Probably a little bit late to the party for sowing these, but I think they'll be okay. They're the weirdest looking seeds. Have you ever seen a calendula seed before? I'm about to show you. Look at that. They're like little dead worms. Aren't they weird? Aren't they weird seeds? Ugh. I feel weird holding them. Right. And then we'll thin them out. And we will thin them out this time. We're not going to say we're going to thin them out and not thin them out. We're actually going to thin them out. Of course, if you just so thinly in the first place, you don't have to thin them out. You up? Give it a pat down to make sure there's good contact between the seed and the soil. And we've got ourselves some calendulas. And I think that's going to be a lot better than what it was before, and hopefully more manageable as well. Because, like I said, I was having to water it all the time. I'm wondering if it's worth putting some leeks out in that little planter as well. Because I have quite a lot here, there's a lot of leeks in here and they're all flippy flopping all over the place. It's like they're all made up for a party and no one's picking them up and taking them. And half are going to go to the allotment plot but I don't really need this many at the allotment. So I'm thinking maybe like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just maybe eight could go in that planter. So there's a technique for planting leeks that I saw on TikTok actually, <laughs> funnily. And I've never tried it before because I've never really had any success with leeks. I've always sown them by seed, like direct into the soil. So I'm going to try this new technique and let me know if I'm doing it right in the comments. But I think this will work. So what we do is we make some holes. So I've got this little, 
I've got this little kids rolling pin which seemed to be the most logical thing for me to grab don't know why so you make a bit of a deep hole like that I'll see how many I can get in here actually because however many it is is however many is going in so I don't know if it'll be eight doesn't look like I'm going to fit eight now the idea is that we're not going to fill the holes what we're going to do we're going to try and get the leaks out without killing them so here's our leak can you see that we're just going to pop him in the ho in the deep hole push his roots in in the hole he has gone he's in the hole okay right we're going to do that to all the holes now <laughs> Okay, now this is the bit I saw on TikTok, which I've never done before and I'm not sure if it's going to work. Apparently, you don't fill it up with soil, you fill the holes up with water. I know, sounds weird to me too, but we're going to try it. Apparently, this is the correct way of planting out leeks. So into the holes goes just some water all the way up to the top of the hole. I'm going very fast for someone who doesn't know if this is going to work. And then apparently that closes the holes. The holes don't really look closed. So how long does it take for them to close the holes? <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. Should I put some more in? Do I just trust the process? I feel like doing that. Is that okay that I just do that? Is that cheating? If I just do that, it's almost like it's happened anyway. Yeah, let's just, let's just do that. I can't leave them open, it's weird. Obviously, I'm not very trusting to the ways of TikTok, but I've sort of like roughly closed them up But they are still like I haven't like pushed them in or anything. So hopefully that does the same thing But that's how you're supposed to do leaks apparently Anyway, hopefully they lit. They've all flopped over Hopefully they stand up soon. Come on guys. You're okay. That's leeks and calendulas in my planter now. I'm really happy with that. I think that's much better than lettuce. And then what I'm going to do is put lettuce in a separate pot, I think. I think it needs its own, its own home. Hello, so it's a few days later now. It's actually, the weather's gone really, really nice. So instead of being like a debilitating 30 degrees and like real high humidity, the humidity's dropped and we're at like 24 degrees nice and sunny i'm so british just like sitting here talking about the weather like this but i feel like it is a big factor in gardening so i can kind of get away with it but it's really nice today so i'm gonna do a few little gardening jobs I'm gonna do some of my favorite gardening jobs um which is deadheading flowers picking my sweet peas maybe mowing the lawn we've had some rain which is like yes we've had some rain but unfortunately that's meant all the slugs and snails have come out so last night my son and i went around the garden picking up all the slugs all the snails putting them in a bucket chucking them over the fence hopefully it's worked i mean i kid you not we found about a hundred snails 50 slugs I actually caught loads of them sitting on a leaf about to take a bite and then I just managed to grab it so I went out at about half past eight last night I think that's about the optimum time uh, because the sun's starting to set and then it's nice and wet and damp for them it's nice and cool and that's when they come out so half past eight at night I can officially confirm that's when they're out that's when they're out, they're out and about so <laughs> trick with sweet peas is to keep picking them the more you pick the more flowers you get and what you're trying to do is prevent the plant from going to seed so I'll show you what the, pea, the seeds look like I almost said pea because it is from the pea family so their seeds their seed heads look like this they look like little 
little peas basically because they're from the pea family um, and you want to stop them from doing this when they start to produce their seeds that means the flower is going to stop producing so if you pick the flowers before they turn to seed it will keep flowering and flowering and flowering so beautiful as you can see my stems are not very long I don't really know why they've done this but they've not grown very long but I can put them in a little vase and they smell gorgeous so just keep picking them that's my only advice to sweet peas keep picking them and if yours haven't flowered yet I've got loads here that I planted in later on and they haven't flowered yet so hang in there because they probably will flower <laughs> I'm going to go sit at the back of the garden with a nice cup of tea and I will see you again in a bit when we go slug and snail hunting. See then. Right, we are slug and snail hunting in the morning because it didn't rain very much last night so we didn't have many of them out at all and it just rained really badly this morning at about 6am for about two hours. They're all going to be out. Let's see if we can find any. Always checking my strawberries first because I'm always worried they're going to get them. Oh look, they're really starting to go red now. Oh, I better not get the... Oh, I can see one. I can see one. It's a slug. It's a slug. There he is. Great big fat juicy slug. Sitting under that thyme. Waiting to get my strawberries. Right, let's have a little look under here. I think that's all I'm going to find right now so I'm going to leave the vlog there I hope you enjoyed it I'm going to go off to my allotment plot now and do the same thing there catch all the slugs and snails hopefully fingers crossed and I will see you again in my next garden video which will be next Friday or I will see you at the allotment plot on Monday see you then guys have a nice weekend bye <laughs>